Hey, hey, good people, Arthur Morris here. Let's take a look at a couple of these problems finding uh, the derivative by using the limit process. Okay, so we want to find the derivative of x squared plus x minus 3 by using the limit process. So the function is x squared plus x minus 3. Um, so I'm just going to work my way through this by using the formula that I have here, remembering that a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So I have x squared plus x minus 3, replacing x in the first part of the function with x plus delta x. So x plus delta x squared, since x was squared in the function, plus x plus delta x, replacing the second x there, minus 3. And then minus f of x, and the function is x squared plus x minus 3. all over delta x. So from here, it's just using algebra, okay? So uh, using the a plus b squared rule, the first term squared plus two times the terms plus the last term squared uh, plus x plus delta x from the second parentheses minus 3. Now I need to distribute that minus all over delta x. Alrighty, so now let's simplify. So the x squared cancels with an x squared here and here. Let's see, anything else? Yep, uh, the x to the first with a negative x, negative 3 with a positive 3. All right, so we have 2x times delta x plus delta x squared plus delta x all over delta x. So let's continue to simplify. Let's factor out a delta x in the numerator. Sorry about that. Let's fact, factor out a delta x in the numerator. So 2x plus delta x plus 1 all over delta x. All right, so now we can cancel those delta x's there. And now that those are gone, we can substitute 0 in for delta x for the remaining delta x. Therefore, our derivative is 2x plus 1. Alrighty, let's take a look at another one that involves the cube, exponent cube. Alright, so in this one we have f of x equals x to the third plus 7x, and we want to find the limit use or derivative using the limit process. Uh, now a plus b cubed is equal to a cubed plus b cubed plus 3ab times a plus b, and if you don't remember that, that's fine. Just make sure you look it up in Google or somewhere. All right, so let's replace uh, part, the first part, the f of x plus delta x, replace the x, x plus delta x raised to the third power plus 7 times x plus delta x. Okay and then minus f of x, so minus x to the third plus 7x, and all over delta x. All righty, so now we're going to use the a plus b to the third rule and multiply the x plus delta x cube out. All right, so x cubed 
plus delta x cubed plus 3 times x times delta x times x plus delta x. Plus, distribute the 7, 7x plus 7 times delta x. Minus, distribute the minus, x cubed minus 7x. All over delta x. All right, so x cubed plus delta x cubed plus 3 times x times delta x times x plus delta x. And that's all based on the formula there. So all of this is based on that formula there. Uh, and then plus 7x plus 7 times delta x minus x cubed minus 7x. Okay, so let's go ahead and distribute the 3x delta x. So x cubed plus delta x cubed plus 3x squared delta x plus 3x times delta x squared plus 7x plus 7 delta x minus x cubed minus 7x all over delta x. All right, and now let's see uh, what we can combine. So it looks like we have a x cubed and a negative x cubed that will cancel out. And we have a 7x and a negative 7x that will cancel out. And I think that's all. Kind of felt like Wheel of Fortune there. All right, so delta x cubed plus 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus 7 times delta x all over delta x. All righty, so uh, since I have the common factor of delta x in my numerator, I want to factor that out so I can cancel it with the delta x in my denominator. So delta x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x times delta x plus 7 all over delta x. So now that we factored that out, we can cancel those, the delta x in the numerator with the delta x in our denominator. And then we can substitute the zeros in for the other delta x's. So uh, now I have 0 squared. So I have 0 squared plus 3x squared plus 3x times 0 plus 7. And that leaves me with 3x squared plus 7. see here all right so again uh, we substituted in and we use a plus b to the third uh, rule there so once we substitute into our formula our derivative formula slope formula um, we use the algebra to multiply the x plus delta x cubed out and distributive property and after we use our distributive property we combine the like terms after we combine the like terms, we factored out the delta x, and after we factored out the delta x to get rid of that delta x in our denominator, we were able to substitute zero in for the remaining delta x's. Alrighty, good people, I hope you found this video to be helpful, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.